How's it going everyone? I'm Mike and welcome to the first ever episode of Sunny Slope Garage. Today is the first day of many days ahead of our restoration, frame off restoration of our 1971 Chevrolet pickup. Today, our first move to the restoration of this old pickup is removing this bed because, I don't know, she's, uh, she's in pretty bad shape. You guys might think, man, that, that bed's in actually pretty decent shape, but she has an ugly side. And there's a lot of rust underneath there, but we'll take a look at that real quick. This is what I'm talking about right here. This side right here is just absolute garbage. That's my dad's shooting car. Just three more payments and it's ours. I'll show you something real quick. She got a little bit of the truffle shuffle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All them cab bolts are just absolutely rotted out of this bed. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about taking it apart because you guys know with trucks this age, they are notorious for having the bolts just seized. And I know one thing, if I try to take in those cab or these uh, body mounts out, they're just gonna get stuck and break off. And I'm contemplating to do a cross hatch grind, use the air chisel and punch them through. Now, I gotta make sure that I can get all the way through, otherwise they're gonna get hung up and I'm gonna have to crawl underneath the bed and chop them off. And nobody wants to do that because you're gonna have a lot of rust rain dropping down your eyes. My biggest fear or my biggest concern right now is getting that back bumper off because that thing's heavy duty. I pre-soaked the nuts and bolts with uh, penetrating oil last week and this has been sitting. So hopefully they spin off real nice. But I will tell you one thing I am gonna do. I am gonna save these back tail sections right here and I'm gonna make something out of them. What I wanna do is I'll come on the back side here and I wanna attach them to like the side of my wood burning stove. If you guys have seen that in my previous episodes and kind of make the stove look like the back of a truck. And I'll run 110 like lights in there and stuff. So when you turn on the stove and the blower's on, you have the tail lights on. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. For everyone who's new to this channel, this is a 1971 Chevrolet pickup. It's a C20, not a C10. Uh, we are gonna chop and section this frame. It's gonna be a frame off restoration, obviously, like I said earlier. She's a four speed, she's got a 350 in it. Uh, two wheel drive, obviously, C20. And uh, she's in really rough shape. We're only gonna keep the cab, the uh, windshield, the hood, front radiator support, obviously the frame and all the suspension and stuff, but doors, fenders, uh, obviously the bed, all going to the scrap yard. Iron's up right now, so <laughs> this is a perfect time to start this project. We'll strike where uh, the prices are still up so I can get some of this uh, scrap metal into the yard. Help fund this project a little bit. But I'm hoping to hear from some sponsors that will help me fund this or at least provide some materials because we got a lot of prep to do on this frame. So I'm going to stop running my mouth and I'm going to start working on this bed. And please, please subscribe and leave a comment down below if you could. Let me know what you guys would like to see me or how you'd like to see me film on this truck. If you guys want more long drawn out shots or you just wanna see me do this in sections like work here, work here, bed comes off. Some people like to see people suffer and work through some things. Some people just wanna see the job get done in sections. So let me know, leave a comment. Oh yeah, did I mention that it's like noon and I have a poker game in this barn tonight so I got to get this pulled off, this place cleaned up, and ready for cards with the boys tonight. So let's see if we can get it done. Nothing left to it but to do it. I wasn't playing these. These things are crusty. Whew. Now that I'm covered in rust from this bumper, she's pretty much free. But these bolts up top, uh, I think I need to just cut them off. But I'll try to get underneath them. Uh, I don't want to be trying to hold my 
head on right there getting those backside bolts as this thing comes down because that's the only thing holding this bumper on right now folks so well we're gonna give the air at you a shot like i said i do not want to be underneath this bumper no come on I need a short wheel socket be right back right now There's a lip back there that I can't get this thing over. Well, that might be one we just cut off. Well, step one, we got ourselves a cool place to put a roll pan now. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty impressed that that back section is not as rusted as I thought it was gonna be. Actually held pretty solid. Well, on to the rest. There's always been that one thing I always wanted to do, and that's like check for rust. See this nice little innocent spot right here? It's not, you'd say, Mike, this box side is pretty good looking. There'd be no reason for you to have to chop this up because all this could probably be fixed with a fender in a can, if you know what I mean. But Oh yeah, there's a lot more underneath this than you can see. But just bam, 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 bam. Love breaking stuff. Now all joking aside though, I ain't messing with any more bolts. That is uh, not gonna happen. I, sh I was really lucky when I threw that hammer and didn't bust that back glass out. <sighs> Grow up, Mike. So, yep, I'm getting the saws out and we're gonna start making our section cuts here. I might unbolt a few things because the corners will be hard to get into. Uh, this is a double wall, which means there's a second wall in here. So I hope I have a sawzall blade that will go through both of it or I have to be really skilled on depth perception and not jamming that blade in the backside and bending it up, but yeah. All right. Started from the start. Well, I didn't want to throw a bunch of sparks in this dry ass barn, but it is what it is.
I'll be able to pop this out, no problem. Nope. <laughs> She's still attached. Wow. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be damned. There was something underneath there. What? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Time! Jesus H. Christ! This is a new company record. About 45 minutes. This is probably not the most ethical way of taking a box side off, but what else are you going to do on a Saturday? You guys are watching my video, so I ain't saying much. We got one side off, and uh, I think I'm going to start working on sawing that section off. I kind of want to keep it, but the more I'm sawing and cutting, the less in love I am with the idea. So I'll give it a shot just for you guys, for a future video at least. safety glass. It's all done. Got a big pile of scrap metal out there I gotta get out. I got this place is an absolute nightmare of rust everywhere. I've gotta get this place cleaned up and ready for folks tonight. And uh, yep, we just noticed the back panels here. That's not good. Hope that rust ain't too far down in there. But man, I smacked my thumb too. Whoo, did that hurt? Good Lord, that hurt. Oh, son of a bit, bit, uh, son of a bit, bit, son of a bit, 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 uh, gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> well, next video, front end's coming off. I hope you guys stay tuned for that one because that's going to be coming up uh, here shortly. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos in the shop right now. So this will be my series of uh, Sunny Slope Garage. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.